Adventure. We are. Yay. Um, so long time no see. Sorry about that. <laughs> We're trying to get some more videos for you guys. Um, and where are we going? To get an animal. An animal. Another so animal. Doing almost on every adventure. Well, sometimes we're getting fruit. We it's have true. pears. Yep. Sometimes yep. we get animals. This is like um, all just transpired last night in about what a ten minute span. Like it just happened. Yep. So should I just tell them what it is? Sure. Okay. So we are actually going to go get a Great Pyrenees livestock guardian dog. Very much needed. Um, we've been talking about it. We are down to like twenty something chickens because we've lost so many to predators over the course of the last eight, nine months. Anyway, so we were like, well, you know, we, it's a big commitment because uh, training and blah, 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 you know, the whole deal. So we've just been going back and forth about it and trying to decide. And I happened to open up Facebook last night. We were in bed. I'm like, um, I opened up Facebook and there was a local listing, a somewhat local listing. a livestock guardian dog at Great Pyrenees for like 10 years. Um, ever since we started homesteading, I was like, that's what I need, that's what I want, and we just haven't been in a place to get one. And everything just worked out perfectly, and he was a, such a good deal, good price, and he's great. He doesn't chase the animals. He will follow the goats. He wants to be friends with them. Our goats are scared. They're not used to dogs, so they're afraid of him. He's not chasing them in aggressive at all. He's just He's just wanting to be their friend. The chickens were all freaked out and like laughing and running away and he didn't chase them all. He just sat down and watched them like, what's your problem chickens? So anyway, but back to his name. I have planned on naming a dog Gabriel since I wanted one. Like I was going to name it because Livestock Guardian, Guardian Angel, Gabriel, the whole thing. So that's the reason behind his name. I'm not copying anybody because I know there's a bunch of people out there that have Livestock Guardians named Gabriel. Obviously it's not like the most original thought, <laughs> but I've been waiting to name him that, so that's his name. Um, and he's super chill and sweet. We brought him home. He slept in the barn last night because we weren't sure. We didn't want to just bring him home and throw him outside. So um, we uh, we put him in. We did put Florence and Arwen with him, our two younger does. They weren't thrilled. They slept in the opposite corner, but he was fine. He just slept in there and didn't bother him or anything. But we didn't want. He was lonely. We didn't want him to be alone. Um, so the animals here will take a while to warm up to him. But he's thrilled. He's and he's super chill. I mean, he's six and a half months old, and this is his demeanor. Just when we come out, he comes up to us. He's excited to see the kids, and we introduced him to Buster. And I have some video of that. They were playing and having fun, but they seem to really like each other a lot, which is great because Buster needs a buddy. Buster, uh, Buster's lonely, so we're excited and thrilled and happy. And we got a lot going on today. Um, we're actually going to tap our maple trees or attempt to tap maple trees. <laughs> So we'll bring you guys along for that. But yeah, here's our new guy.
came up here to tap some maple trees and there's bees. And I have no idea where they came from or anything right now. But obviously it's a pretty warm day. I'm gonna throw some honey frames in here. I, I don't know, I don't think that a wild swarm would move in this time of year, but there's a ton of bees and all mine were dead. And they're only on the one hive. Yeah. They're all, they're going in. I don't think there's any honey in there for them to be robbing. I think that, I, they're I don't know. Well, we're gonna put honey know. in there for them. Hopefully they're moving in. They, they may just be robbing everything, but hopefully they're moving in. Well, we'll put some honey frames in there and see if they move in. Yep. They're definitely not our bees because ours were all 100% dead. And the other two hives, there's no Oops. activity. So, all right. All right, he's got a couple of frames of honey. We had pulled out of these when, we, when all of our bees were dead and we never harvested it yet. So, he's gonna go ahead and put it in. And hopefully these bees came from somewhere and swarmed and have a queen. It would be really early in the year for that, but it is a very sunny and warmish day. So I'm pretty sure these are wild bees robbing what little bit of honey is left in this hive. I did put two frames of honey in there and that's okay because obviously if they're ever here robbing, they're hungry. So I'm going to let them eat the honey that I put in there. Yeah. Um, well, and what we were saying, the good thing is we were concerned about not having pollinators yes. up here by the garden and our apple trees are up here. So we know there's pollinators. There's, there's bees here to pollinate. And, and there could be a split off of one of our hives. It's your bright shirt. <laughs> There's your a bee. Jacket. Yeah. Jenna's Sorry, wearing guys. a tie-dye jacket. I know. So a bee was coming after me. It's like, oh. Yeah. All right. Well, so. let's go tap some maple trees. All right. We're getting ready to tap some maple trees. We've got friends over from church. You can show them, Jack. Okay. We're paying attention right now. They're all playing. Down here, they're climbing up in the tree stand. Okay. But anyway, yeah. we've never we've done this years ago, and it was a failure. But yeah. we didn't really have the right stuff, so we just thought we would try it. But we're gonna really uh, attempt to, tap attempt to do this correctly this year. We're so sap to make sure. sap for sure. Yes, we're excited, and we don't have we have twelve taps, so we don't have a ton. But this will be the trial it. year. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm super excited. So it's been right. a crazy kind of day. A lot of stuff. We got the puppy. We got we have bees that may be are just robbing honey, but that's okay. And so now exciting we're to see bees. Lots of busyness.
day three of this video? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> we never recorded any more yesterday after working on tapping the trees, which was awesome. The sap was really flowing, so we are going to have to check those buckets this afternoon. Yes. Um, since we put two taps and ran them into the same bucket, that will fill up faster, obviously, than one bucket with one tap. So, I mean, yeah, one bucket with one tap, one bucket with two taps will fill up faster. Should fill twice as fast. Twice as fast. And the sap was really playing. So that's super exciting. We'll keep you guys posted on how our sir syrup making adventure goes. Yes. Um, Gabriel, our livestock guardian dog, Great Pyrenees, is doing amazing. He I, is awesome. I can't believe. Like, he's like an adult dog that's been doing this for years. Like, <laughs> he has, he totally owns the farm now. Yeah. It's, I know. In just a couple of days, he's like, this is my yeah. domain. So this is his second full day. So like this morning I was out there and uh, we had a couple of pigs out because we usually do. Pigs and uh, yeah, I've got to do something. I just, I'm not sure what yet. I'm drawing a blank, but we'll figure it out. Um, so anyway, the, our pigs, if they can catch a chicken, They'll kill they it. will kill it. Um, now it's not the easiest thing for a pig to catch a chicken, but sometimes they do. So Gabriel doesn't know this though, but like the pigs were, a couple of the smaller pigs were out today. They were walking towards the chickens, which were under the camper. And Gabriel just, he noticed that and instinctively he ran between the pigs and the chickens and started barking at the pigs and ran them away back the towards their pen, away from the chickens. And as soon as he got them ran like 15 yards away from the chickens, he just sat down. And of course the pigs continued running to get away and he just sat down and watched them. He had done his job. He, it was amazing. It's <laughs> like, I'm blown away by at six and a half months old by his temperament and demeanor just mm -hmm. it's amazing it's and crazy his instincts his just, instincts yeah. yeah i mean he was raised for his puppy life so far with other working dogs on a farm with a lot of animals but it's still people are always like oh it takes a good two years to get them trained where they're not gonna you know want to play with chickens and this and that and like i'm like this is dog is awesome <laughs> it's it's amazing so it's glad. such a blessing yeah um exactly what we needed yeah so yeah yeah. But we're out running errands today. That's why we're in the truck. It's a rainy day. We're trying to get things yeah. gathered up. Tomorrow we're going to buy four pallets of feed. And that should set us up for the next few months. Yeah. Next couple of months. Next Hopefully months two, two, two and a half months. Yeah. So yep. we're going to be getting meat birds coming April. We're going to start getting rounds of 100 of meat birds. Mm-hmm get them on the ground we'll have calves hitting the ground come april i'm going to start seeds i need to have already started onions but i haven't done that yet so I'm maybe going to do today that. hopefully today if not this week sometime so yeah. um onions and celery i think are the only things i can start right now and then i'm going to get in the next few weeks start getting other things started yep. and somebody from church is giving us glass oh, yes. glass panels uh and I'm going to try to get them this week. I do not know if I'll have time, but I'm going to try to get them this week. If not, it'll be early next week. Yes, know. and um, build a cold frame greenhouse so we can put our seeds in it. Um, now, the dimensions will very well be determined by the size of my glass panels because yeah. I'm really not sure what they are. I cannot remember. But, um, yeah. My that's... little plastic greenhouse got blown over in the wind and ended up busting out the back panels. So yeah, that's... and it wasn't the greatest. No, it wasn't it was really big together. enough, but no, it's, it served its purpose. So it can start lots more seeds. Yeah, it served its purpose, yeah, though. Yeah, it did. It did. It was great. But... And we have big plans for the garden. Uh, we'll talk about those in our and next we'll video. We'll do a video of just our garden plans. There's a lot yeah. going on with that. So, anyway, we'll try to get you guys caught up on our life. Um, I don't know. Did we tell about Sheba? No. Oh, our so we have um, Solomon and Sheba, our peacock and peahen pair, and we've been letting them out of the barn and in the barn. You know, they've been kind of doing their thing. And our male Narragansett Tom's turkey Tom's um, attacked Sheba a few weeks ago and killed her. Yeah, which was very very sad. Um, very disappointing. Very disappointing. They're year old, so they're going to be able to let you know we're going to get eggs from her and hopefully fertilize eggs and hatch pea chicks. So that was a really big disappointment. We're gonna hope to be able to find another juvenile pea hen that's old enough to lay because Solomon, for one, he's sad. He kind of seems a little lost and lonely. He just mopes yeah. around. We're like, we need a, needs a hen. And then we wanted to hatch and sell baby pea chicks. Yep. So it was gonna be part of our farm business this year. Yeah. Which... So anyway, we're, um, but that was really disappointing and sad. That was a bummer. It was. Big bummer. Yeah. Oh, and I'm. And our, what? And our turkeys are locked. Oh, the turkeys up are locked now. up they're, now because they're aggressive. Yeah. The toms. We may harvest one or two of them because we have three toms and two hens, and yeah. we really don't need that many toms. So we need to, um, 
I hesitate to harvest two and only leave one just in case he's a dud. Yeah, I'd like to wait till we actually are harvesting meat birds and do it yeah. like that, so it's not so, a setup for just a yeah. couple times. And by we'll then see. we'll see which ones are actually breeding and whatnot. Yeah. Hopefully we'll. Um, but and on a lighter note and a happier note, we did buy eight baby chicks and six baby um, broad-breasted white turkeys. So we got the turkeys 50% uh, off because they were getting new chickens in at Royal King, and they were so they'll do that. They'll mark them down at the end before they get more birds in because mm -hmm. they just try to move them out so we were like we got them and then we um they had some speckled sussex and sapphire splash i've never done sapphire splash before i have sapphire gems so these are supposed to be related to them but anyway they had them marked down they were a good deal so i was like pullets and i was like oh is that how that happened I think it was, was it valentine's day or a couple days before it was the saturday before the valentine's saturday day. before yeah we went derek and i went to royal king we went on a date um, and we went to Royal King and I had every intention of buying baby chickens that day, but I didn't tell him that. And we got in there and we're looking at them. I was like, I think I want some of these. And he was like, all right, our, um, my phone storage, we're using the phones today. My phone storage <laughs> was full and I didn't know it. So it cut off. Anyway, what I was saying is, um, Derek said he had no intentions of buying chickens that day. And I was like, oh, Never well, even crossed my mind. I walked in here with every intention of getting baby chickens. I was today. duped. He was duped. I was like, oh. I was hoping. I didn't know if I'd get any. I just had, you know, that thought. I was like, I might have to buy chickens today. And I did. And they're so all doing great. They're brooding in the camper with the rest of us. Yeah. So we're going to try to set up a good brooder in the barn so that they're safe and the cats can't get to them and all that good stuff. But yeah, it was really cold. Still was in the teens some nights here, so we didn't want to put them out there. I mean, we have heat source, but still, you know. Yeah. We'll probably put them out there this week. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess that kind of catches us up with you guys. And... That's all we have to say for today. We gotta get our errands done. Uh -huh. yeah. So we'll catch you guys later. See y'all later.